Hey guys, it's another swelteringly hot day here in uh, Sydney today. It's uh, 35 degrees and inside this shed it's at least another 10. So uh, it's pretty stinging hot, but uh, I'll just take you through what uh, um, I've just got delivered. I've just, uh, as you can see down here, we have a big delivery that came in this week from Mike Tankard. So you can, uh, I've laid out all the pieces so you can see what's got to go on the car. So I've got a uh, RSR style front bar, two RSR style wide body front guards, a, uh, a long hood bonnet, a ducktail spoiler and an RSR style rear bar. And of course you've already seen the steel uh, 930 rear guards that are going onto the car as well. So, um, so the next step, um, tossing backwards and forwards on what to do, but basically I want to fit the, uh, the rear wheel arches and to fit the rear wheel arches, I need to fit the rear bar because I need to have the rear bar lined up, um, so then I can line up the uh, where I need to weld the rear wheel arches on. Um, and uh, after a bit of playing around, I, I just had a look, and on the at least on these mid years, this um, reflector panel mount needs to be cut out. So I need to cut this through here um, and and through here and move this section because the the rear bumper has to mount up basically up to that that level there so uh, that's the next step all right now i've got to weld the rear guards on that's the uh, the next big step so basically to do that i'm going to need some butt welding brackets um, some, some clamps which I don't have so I'm going to make them um, and I'll give you a quick rundown of what I'm going to use to make them uh, basically I've got some old uh, square tubing here some uh, wing nuts with a, uh, a flat uh, screw head on it uh, some steel bar and some flat steel plate <laughs> So what was I uh, playing with? Well, basically I made up a bunch of these little boxes with a hole on one side and a slot on the other side. And then I got these little metal pieces of metal tab and I welded it to a, uh, a little bolt, right like that. And then I sort of stuff around and, and wedge it through the bolt like that. And put a wing nut on the top and you've got something like this. So there's a, a wing nut here that tightens it up and pulls the uh, uh, the clamp and you use one of these little bits of rod through the hole and that's your butt weld clamp and here's a couple that I've already already done so there's a couple of plates there you can see the uh, the pins going through and tightened up with the wing nuts and that's some butt weld clamps sorry about the uh, the noise it's uh, so much for an Australian summer it's raining like a cats and dogs here at the moment so um, Basically the next step is to come in here and we're going to cut out the, um, the wheel arches. Just, just, it's just a, uh, to get this initial arch off so I can line up the other arches properly. I also need to get to the torsion bar, uh, the torsion bars so that I can actually, uh, they will help me line up the, uh, the new guards to go on. So cutting these out is the next step. Now I've come to uh, marking out the uh, the new wide body guards onto the back. Now um, I've clamped it on front and rear with some vice grips for the, for the time being, and um, and made sure, uh, importantly, that I line up the torsion bar with the torsion bar access hole, um, which is a uh, perfect way to actually make sure it's all lined up. So now I've got to uh, mark it all out and then cut it. Another thing that I've done, just, just to uh, check the, um, 
the spacing, etc. Is uh, you can see this uh, string line I've put on here, and basically I set the string line up just so that I can measure from the center of the hub to the string line, so I can get make sure it's the same on both sides, so it's nice and square and even, and, uh, and get it all right. So a bit of playing around and uh, mark it out, and then we'll cut it out. All right, now I've uh, marked it all out. It's uh, time to very carefully cut it out just shy of that line all the way along um, and uh, then I can I can go back and, and grind it and uh, take a bit more out if I need it but uh, it's really hard to add it back in again so uh, I'll just take my time and just uh, trim it out nicely and um, then we can hopefully bolt it all on and bolt it all up and that's one side done. <laughs> That's a couple of hours down, uh, just grinding and trying to get everything lined up nicely. Now I'm pretty happy with the way it's come out. Um, I've used the, um, the uh, butt weld hinges that I made up this morning and uh, took a while, several, several attempts, putting it on, taking it off, putting it on, taking it off, getting it right so you've got a nice, reasonably even gap that I can weld in the whole way along. So that should uh, go on quite nice. It also seems to be quite nicely lined up with the torsion bar hole, so come back and board it up tomorrow. All right, now we're all tacked on and uh, just getting ready to do the final welds and stitch weld it together. Uh, basically just, just uh, moving along slowly, doing a spot at a time so I don't blow through and uh, gradually tying all of these um, the tack welds uh, together, so we'll see how that goes. That's a few hours of work uh, welding it all together now. Um, it's all welded on. I ground it all down. Um, the welds aren't amazing, but uh, it's the first time I've ever welded a, yeah, a panel onto a car, so I'm reasonably happy. And with a little bit of beating and stuff, um, I've got it to be uh, a reasonably good attachment. Uh, still needs a bit more beating, uh, panel beating. I'll get in there and um, uh, and just just feather out a bit. But it's uh, it's really coming up quite. Uh, uh, quite well. Um, as you can see, a bit of a close up here. You know, there's a little bit of pitting and stuff still there in the in the welds and a few spots. I might have to go back and um, like, like uh, just here. If you can see, there's a couple of holes there. I might have to go around, weld them again, and uh, fill up the holes and uh, grind it back. But uh, overall, I'm pretty happy. Um, looks like it's on reasonably well, reasonably straight, uh, all attached. So um, it's got decent penetration through the back. So. Good effort. Now I just got to get on the other side. All right, that's the other side done. So that's uh, the car has now got uh, the steel wide body guards welded onto it. It's not. It's far from perfect. I'm definitely not the best welder. There's a first uh, uh, metal panels that actually welded onto a car, but uh, um, it's. I'm reasonably happy with it. I think it's a better job than the uh, what they did last time. What the uh, the other people did. So. Uh, there's still a little bit of uh, hammer and dolly work to get it all perfect and get all the uh, the, the little ripples and stuff out and get it uh, just right and then um, yeah move right along. The next step uh, I think will probably be um, repairing the doors. So uh, let's see what they have in store for us. <laughs> 